Welcome. So this is just a short update video. I'm happy to announce that I'm now also running a validator. So if you go to the validator registry, there is down here my validator. It's called xopshinatsil.com. If you click on it, you can just see right now the agreement rate over the last hour, which is 100%, and the agreement rate over the last 24 hours, which is also 100%. So that's uh, that's what all the validators should do. So meaning that they are, as you might know, they should be available and should be involved in validating each ledger. So ledger slash block. And um, right, so you can see here that it started. Uh, well, I started it like uh, yesterday, and uh, now it's been almost so more than 24 hours I've been having it run, and uh, it seems to run quite smoothly. Uh, also, the hardware wasn't expensive, and the energy costs are being covered by the people watching my YouTube videos. So, also, people who watch my YouTube videos are contributing uh, in a way for running this validator. So, also, thanks for that, and thanks for watching my videos in, in, the, in that context there. Um, if you look on the domain, you can see also a website I'm, I'm, I'm just hosting here. Also, so this is obviously not the domain or uh, so the, the domain slash IP address of a validator. I'm externally also hosting hosting a simple website here and obviously there's just some travel info we might do some updates I guess um, so nothing interesting there I guess and also so as you know um, in regards to the internet connection so so if you intend to run a validator uh, obviously the internet connection must be somewhat good uh, so it does use a lot of internet uh, well not a lot of bandwidth uh, because obviously my validators are also involved in validating each block here. So right now you can see here, so in the UNL there are, as you know, 37 validators, but all these other validators are involved as well. well so each of these dots here is a validator right now involved in the validation process. So, and one of these here is mine. So at some point it should be mine. Um, there's also another great representation of that. If you go to networks on the, on the same website of network and validators, you can also see it here. And I think mine was like somewhere here. Probably won't find it. Okay, yeah, I just have to look for it, I guess. At some place here, there's also mine like uh, being represented as one of these uh, shapes here. <laughs> but I guess if we just try it that way, yeah, never mind. So we just look, we can see it down here. So that's like, like a seven validator where you can see how well it's performing so far. And and if you go over that one, you can also see like here all the validators validating the next block and agreeing. Uh, and it's not called block, it's as we as you know, oh, and there it is. So you can see here right now, if you look at this one here, this block, uh, so this shape here should represent my validator, which is also changing colors with all the other validators at the same time to agree on the next um, ledger. All right, so yeah, that's through it. Uh, if you also intend to run a validator, it's simple to uh, install them. So the the um, descriptions and this the entire setup, it has been done beautifully. It's very easy to follow. Also in regards to configuration, all of that, so just amazing. So obviously you need some basic knowledge of Linux, generally speaking. So if you're completely new to that, it might be a little bit overwhelming. But other than that, it has been like, yeah, quite interesting. You also learn a lot about the XP Ledger when you do the setup and understand like all the processes a little bit more. And yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and see you in the next video.